We're going to be two. And we're both marked. Your pack seems to have led an entire ship. Okay. To their deaths. Not blame us uh, for what we are. No, I don't. Right. Hmm. Seem more somber. Hmm. By bitter path comes wisdom. In the wake of bloody losses and shattered dreams, heaven. Uh, thoughts weighing on its broader shoulders, then is unbidden and takes the seat uh, by your hearth. Mm. Have something good. Uh. You still believe you'll find your brothers? I'll find them, possibly not alive, but I will find them. Have something good awaits in the, your future? When the wolf priest tested me up, I went to the gate of Morkai, a dark place where real space and the thoughts of the great wolves intertwine, like the tentacles of a kraken. Everyone who no uh, appears before the gate is granted vision, and mine was a dark omen. I saw myself in, in two guises, one as white as the moon, the other black as the lowering, uh, lowering sky. The two were locked in combat. As for which uh, me emerge victorious, that hi uh, that's hidden from my sight. But it's not that that frightened me. The black wolf's gaze was fearsome, full of more pain than he could ever inflict himself. It drove him mad, turning him into a monster. And as dark as he appears, I recognize himself in, uh, myself in him. After all, I made, I was made for destruction, torment, annihilation. I am more an agile, and the more agile monster. Does that mean that? By the AFI, uh, All Father's design, I must drink this cup of pain at the bottom in order to uh, fulfill his plan. Do not know. Uh, no rhymes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Been thinking about your life, about the future. Have you ever wondered what it means to be an Estates? Do you know uh, to know no other family but your brothers in battle? No, uh, no other feast but the joy of slaying your enemies and extolling um, your fallen comrades. To know which certainty that uh, your death will be terrible, brutal, and agonizing. The times hold no sway over us, and no warriors of the old father have ever breathed their last in a soft bed. I thank the answers. What will you do now? I must return. My foe awaits me. But I'll need help in fighting it. All right, I got you. Yep, put on his gear. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, oh, that was marked. Okay, cool. Mm -mm 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 -mm. What are you looking at, cat? What? What you want? What? What? Why are you being needy? Okay. Can I help you? Alright, he's with us. Good. Mm -hmm. Begun. This is it. Oh, uh, it's dead space wolves. You not claw at me. I know you want it. No, stop. Put that paw down. Put it down. In this tapestry so there's another Necron temple. The rogue so, what Necron beast could this be? Oh, shit.
Hey, you guys like booby traps, I get it. It's got, it's got to be something new because the other ones we were fighting were not fast and agile. And don't didn't have claws, far as I'm aware. Can, can, I, can I help you? Curiosity sings in my veins. What? Oh, oh, and she's on the table. My brothers, the red, uh, red brows furrowed in anguish. All far bows down over the bodies of the in uh, bodies encased in, yeah, uh, ceramite. That in my sign, once again, fate has barred me from traveling to the hall of the old father with my brothers. Look around, no covered battlefield reveals little. I'm just thinking something that could take out a whole squad of space wolves. What the hell are we in, in for? The rocks are pitted with bolter strikes. And scorch marks left by plasma charges. Who are they fighting? Not no corruption on their bodies, and I see no traces of Xenos. I think they did battle with humans. Humans? What were they looking for? Uh, I do not know what they were seeking. But they have certainly found someone here. Otherwise, this crime would not have been committed. They met their doom with honor. It uh, befits true warriors. Oh, I'll have a weak laugh. True enough. No one would ever dare say that the Bay of Valhalla would stare into the eyes of Morkai with anything a joyful or... I'm trying to speak here, cat. Get your face out, get your face out of my face. Have it. <laughs> I... <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, no... I sense evil in their deaths. Uh, the souls of the Bale for Hell have not, um, not the rest, but the remains here on the battlefield. Um, they're not with the old father. I must escort them. Will you bear the witness to the last honor uh, given to my brothers? Yeah, I'll do it. Before I produce the knife inscribed with the scarlet runes, picking up uh, a rock from the ground, he begins to scratch the uh, rock sharp. The rock's sharp edge across the blade, etching a name. His powerful voice rumbles. Hear the saga of the Baleful Hell Pack, Proud Warriors of Fenris, Valka uh, Fenrika. The verse weaves together, recounting the deeds of each uh, of the Ulfar's dead brothers. With incredible precision in every detail, the wolf lists the accomplishments of his comrades. The enemies they slew and the sacrifices they made. The saga continues at length. A relenting hymn sends you into a trance. Uh, with one grinding screech, the rock uh, is drawn across the uh, the knife blade again and again, inscribing one name after another. On the cold world they gave battle, the pack's fierce name never disgracing. So ends the saga of the Bale for Hell void, uh, and the Void Thunderers. The echo and the ending. Bendis Yorda. Of bar silent for a long time, the etched knife blade slices across his huge palm. Kind of drops paint the snow. His very voice rasps. Hear my oath, old father. Yalga Thulra. Oh my God, I can't pronounce that. With his bloodied hand, the wolf rem removes a rune-covered horn from his belt. Uh, from a flask, pours something dark and sharp, smelling into it. This drink to my brothers, old father. Except the horn and drink. You seem to have grown a tail. Yep, yep. Definitely not this monstrosity here that is now on the desk for some reason. Ribbling from her nose as she wants attention. Peace well, wolves. What? What, what, what do you want? It's because you want dinner. If I go out there, it's because you have an empty bowl, isn't it? Yeah, you're going to have to wait. Stringent liquid burns your throat, uh, and a fog immediately descends on your view of vision. The sky darkens, and the rising wind whistles in your ears. Through it comes um, a high pitched cawing of a bird. Ulfar nods approvingly. It's a sign. Fate walks beside the skull. Taking the horn back, the wolf takes a mighty swallow from uh, the stuff. Majestic shadow. Oh. 
Majestic shadows rise in the snowy haze around you. The figure of warriors, clad in indestructible armor, bearing the emblem of two black fangs, piercing the uh, the yellow of the sun. They are looking at you. Yeah, um, are you looking at me as well? Stop it. There you go. So needy. She does this. This is what she does. She just gets on the table and shows her face to my face. Your brother's, uh, the brother bears witness, which means it's time for us to meet my last comrade. What comrade? There's one missing among the dead. I know who, uh, who I was fighting for. For his brother Ig uh, Ignilf? What happened to him? He went mad with grief for the bodies of his brothers and the curse of the wolf and... Oh, he turned into a werewolf thing. Yeah, he became a beast. Uh, what are we going to do with him? Corruption is washed away by blood. We'll cleanse his spirit. Uh, there is no hope for his body now. None uh, return for the curse's embrace. Kalkasar once encountered another of my brothers who had also become Wolfen. Kalkasar captured and brought him to Fenris. That is the debt that we are here to pay. We have no way of doing what Kalkasar did, so uh, we have to grant Brother Ign uh, peace. He's, uh, he's dangerous, or we believe a reason. No, he's a wolf. But yeah. There's no reasoning with one who knows uh, only the black bitterness of hatred. The curse of Wolfen is not only our bane, but it's also our shield against temptation. When intolerant thought takes shelter in the wolf's mind, the curse comes and drives them out, dousing them with the waters of anger. We cannot reason with the wolfen, or deceive them, or entice them. This is our uh, bloody talisman against evil. See? The wolf moon raises its head and howls, then it turns its what? It's what? 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 It does this? She just takes one paw and just starts panning at me. Hey, please. Don't stop petting me. What the fuck do you think you're doing? And it turns its wise, piercing uh, uh, gaze on you. Blood rains down from white fangs into the frozen world. Let's do it. Wolf will let our belligerent howl. Yeah, he's coming to us, I'm sure. No drifts into a frightened whirlwind. You hear a terrible crackling sound, someone's feet. No paws are breaking through the crust of the snow on the ground. The beast comes. And it's cruel how it awakens fallen warriors of Fenris. Fenris thirsts for vengeance. Oh, you like Ghost Wolf, Ice Blade? Okay. So we're gonna take like a two at a time here. This sound is weird. I'm gonna leave you and Kitty. Going to the pub. All right, have fun. I appreciate you stopping by. Enjoy the pub. Not been to a pub in years. So the ice blade are the tankier ones, okay? It meant to sound like that. Oh, hold up. I'm gonna restart my audio engine because that that sound is disturbing. Nope, still sounds like that, okay. Yeah, this sound is absolutely obnoxious. Yeah, everything okay it's because we got that drink going on that we're seeing this shit.
Mm. Nice freaking miss on everything, Jesus Christ. That's better. Leave him alone. Whoever came up with this idea is an idiot. I mean, sure, make it a little bit distorted, but this and how loud it is, just no. Sorry, just no. Okay. Blast them. I'm sure the others will go into effect as soon as we kill the first to finish off the first batch. Um Weapons. No. A woo. What did he just throw? Was that a stun grenade or something? No, they don't look like they got the stun effect. Everybody's throwing a goddamn grenade. Stop it. Just smoke grenades everywhere. Hmm. 
You're alone. I feel like I hear pretty badass music in the background, but also... My Gideon. How did you manage to... Can she press something and turn off the lights on my keyboard, which is just awesome. Excuse me. I mean, either way, my son uh, just had a bad. Well, I you're guessing you already left, but how about this here, son? <laughs> Hope you have fun. I'm looking forward to this effect being over. Oh god, hi. Uh my verse will hear a glorious brother you will hear glorious brothers. Um of how the path of all far called Thunderlung from the first and the last wait. From the first and last wolf of the Baleful Howl was intertwined. Uh the other brothers, cold buddies standing all far had hard armed uh, proclaimed. Uh, to the sky their glorious sagas and his last homage paid to the warriors proud as witness taken his companions of the uh, line von Valencius. oh my god uh, the blizzard was raging the winds furiously howling under the terrible uh, um, as under that terrible uh, clawed paw the snow crunch in the dead of, uh, light of the moon strange to human eyes a beast long fur bristling uh, death reeking into a, a circle stepped. Hmm. Stepped his resting on his aid. Uh, stepped his resting on his aid. Um, your father called uh, call to summon. Wait, the old father's call two summoned to battle against the beast uh you do not fear to meet me spirit who uh, whose name double grendel claims I see you have not learned from the last battle from the uh oh you paid for it gouged eye so spoke all fire thunder long and the beast replied of your spoils you boasted to the priests in vain, all far ever lost. My body uh, alone you wounded, but my spirit, uh, I, your spirit maimed. And your weird crippled. Then came the turn of the Eight Fathers speak.
turn the two wolves away uh, from the empty shedding of blood. And his words were formidable, filled with wrath. Grin was merry, full of bloody joy. For your instance, you will pay with tears and blood. So unto the dread spirit and its harsh oath served, the hurricane itself has witnessed uncorruptible. Enough words uh, had been spoken. Our words spewed from the beast's mouth, grinning. Uh, the cry of the wild hunt had embittered souls hearkened. Out of the stone wind, wolf bodies were woven. For warriors who died uh, an unclean death and unavenged, evil never forgetting. The ice fangs gnash uh, their approach. Uh, they approached into the roiling sky howling. Jesus Christ. Um... With the second, with the second he clashed the Eight Father as his shield. Then, with the booming laugh, uh, laugh booming, the heavens were split by the uh, formidable Ulfar, his battle friends guarding. Okay. Uh, with a mighty wrench, the wolf jaw he tore open them wide, evil charms banishing. With dignity, he was met each bat uh, brutal strike. With savagery was slain each deadly foe. Attack was defeated. But the beast was not yet wankish. Uh, roaring his body he threw into the fray with like a mighty spear thrust. Howling his paws cut through adamantine. The warriors fought. Real blood spilling. All far thunder lung his battles, uh, battle songs singing. The black curse his vicious rival echoing. Warriors were clashing uh, when the Ed Father. Mm. The keen shot struck the enemy from afar. Nope. Like scarlet runes upon the snow, the blood lay. Uh, but the Dark Wolf's grip did not slacken. Each of the uh, each of each other's throats seizing the war. Or each of each other's throat seizing the warriors fought to the death. Both flagging, uh, but of cunning. Okay. On the inch powder fell the uh, the wolf's frenzy gaze. By the power of the icy Fenris, I do curse you. If you look uh, into the past, you shall see only deceit. If you look into the future, you see only treachery. The Earl's uh, friend's dagger shall open your breast. The arrows of deceit wrought shall pierce your back. So spoke the Eight Father. Um. The spirit born in sorrow, cursing. And then the bloody wound he spied. His breast was cut, his, his heart was quiet. Uh, the Eight Father's death had caught him unawares. His teeth grit, the Eight Father stared down his foe. The knife in the moonlight gleamed across the wolf's face, cutting uh, in a blink. The do a dark loom receded, the spell dispatched. Glory to the uh, brave hearts that feared uh, not death. I was thinking we were actually going to fight him, fight him, but okay. So Dark Beast lay in the snow, his snow's chosen uh, the name Doppelgrendel. And over his body standing, Ulfar said, Before you die, answer me, evil spirit, who killed my brothers at the Belfar Howl? In his death grasp, the Doppelgrendel answered, Brother, we were doomed not by the Archenemy followers, but by disciples of uh, Inhuman. Who did not touch our armor, nor dark sorcery. Wait, who did not touch our armor, nor with dark sorcery did the Malfitians defeat us? No, it was humans whose oath of friendship swore uh, that plunged the blade into our backs. The treacherous plot uh, is malice hatched. The spirit and then fell silent forever, the noble wolf's body uh, fleeing. And peace to it bestowing. The pair stood together over the prostrate body. The, uh, the body not of a beast, but of a brave fallen brother. The fearsome Ulfar declared the oath of vengeance, and the mighty wolves uh, to Galhala uh, went charging. They went knowing that from, the, uh, that from their betrayers, three times the blood price would be exalted, and the Eight Father also spoke his, uh, also his piece spoke.